During afternoon tea, there's a shift in the air, a bone-trembling chill that tells you she's there. There are those who believe the whole town is cursed, but the house in the marsh is by far the worst. I think people are fascinated by the afterlife. Ghosts are a very interesting arena to explore, and a woman in black is a classic ghost story. Arthur. After the death of his wife four years ago, my character Arthur becomes completely detached from the world. He's a lawyer and is sent by his boss to come up to Crith and Gifford after the death of Alice Drablo. Trying to sell Eel Marsh House. He won't find a local buyer. Good evening. I have a room booked until Sunday. Well, we're back to the rafters. It's that classic motif of somebody going into a village and being made as far from welcome as you can possibly imagine. I made it clear to your firm that there was no need for you to make the journey. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Kipps. He ends up at this remote house where he sees the ghost of a dead woman. I saw a woman. I can assure you no one goes there. She wants revenge for something that happened to her, and she's completely unable to let this go. She cannot move on. That's why she stays haunting the people. Whenever she's been seen, something horrible happens. James brings a vast understanding of the thriller genre. From a cinematic point of view, I love the fact that it's it's about or what's just creeping into the edges of the frame. If you close your eyes or if you blink, are they there? Is the woman in black there? Is there something creeping out of the darkness? Who's there? And I think as a filmmaker, that's a wonderful thing to explore. Daniel, he's got to hold this thing on his own. It's, he's the protagonist. You see it through him. He's well capable of taking on that responsibility. Dan is an absolute delight to work with. He is so focused, and he's just a brilliant actor to direct. Sometimes I just feel she's there, in the room, trying to reach me. The Woman in Black was just a terrific piece of storytelling. Susan Hill's novel is just wonderful. If we open the door to superstition, where does that lead? It's a great story. It's unsettling and frightening. It's a, it's a film to make you afraid of the dark, definitely. <laughs>